Welcome to the Hybrid Geeks installation training series, your step-by-step -step guide to safe, efficient, and professional hybrid battery installation. For a second-generation Toyota Camry Hybrid or for a Toyota Avalon Hybrid, this process will cover everything from safely disconnecting the battery to final reassembly and test drive. Let's get started. Step one, prep and interior removal. Start by disconnecting the 12 volt battery in the trunk. This is your first safety step. Next, begin removing the interior panels in the trunk area. Look for clips and fasteners and take your time locating and removing them. Once the trunk area is clear, move to the back seats. You may find a release lever inside the trunk to remove the seat bottom. Important, when removing the seat, you'll find sensors connected to it. Be sure to disconnect those carefully as you pull the seat out. Now that the lower seat is removed, move onto the seat back. There are four bolts at the bottom holding it in place. Remove them, then lean the seat forward. Watch out for the seat belt. Just slide it to the side, now pull away the insulating layers behind the seat. There are several clips on the tops and sides. Remove them to fully expose the hybrid battery. Step two, disconnecting the battery. With the battery exposed, start by removing the shield covering the orange safety plug. Unbolt the cover, then disconnect and remove the orange plug. Now move to the rear seat side of the battery and disconnect the orange high voltage cable and sensor connectors. Next, begin removing all bolts that secure the battery to the vehicle. These bolts are found both inside the cabin and in the trunk. Then, disconnect the fan and vent. Remove the clips that hold the fan and vent together. Back in the trunk, finish removing any remaining bolts holding the battery in place. Before lifting, lay down protective material like floor mats to avoid damaging the trunk. Now, carefully remove the battery from the vehicle. Use safe lifting posture and get assistance if needed. Step three, transferring the fan. With the battery removed, focus on transferring the fan unit. Disconnect the black fan connector from the battery. Remove the bolts holding the fan in place. Check the fan for dust or debris. Clean it if needed before reuse. Place the fan onto the new battery, secure it with bolts, and reconnect the black connector, ensuring it's fully seated. Step four, installing the new battery. Carefully carry the new battery into the trunk and begin sliding it into position. This part may take some maneuvering from both the cabin and trunk sides. Once the battery is aligned, reconnect the vent to the fan. Secure all bolts to the frame, but be careful not to over torque any fasteners. Reconnect the orange high voltage cable and the sensor connections. Reinstall the protective shield over the cable and reinsert all bolts. In the trunk, reinsert the orange safety plug and replace the shield that surrounds it. Again, avoid over-torquing. Now reconnect the 12 volt battery. Step five, test drive before reassembly. Before putting the interior back together, we always test the vehicle first. Start the vehicle and check for any warning lights. Then take it for a 10 minute test drive. If no hybrid battery related trouble codes return, you're good to proceed. Step six, reassembly and final checks. Now reassemble the interior exactly as you found it. Be sure all clips and panels are secured properly. Double check everything, no loose trim, seat sensors reconnected, all fasteners tightened appropriately. And that's it, your installation is complete. As a reminder, we're not just installers, we're customer service professionals. Always show up looking sharp, communicate clearly, and leave the customer confident in the work you've done. Thanks for watching and welcome to the Hybrid Geek Installer team.